This video is brought to you by Clean My Mac X. Mac OS Sonoma is officially released and aside from some cool visually pleasing updates like animated screensavers, wallpapers and you know widgets, I went on a quest to figure out what are the actual useful features that will make my life easier. So in this video I'll show you the first things that caught my eye and I'll guide you on how you can take advantage of them while also pointing out the new stuff that I hmm, immediately turned off. Starting off with the desktop slash wallpaper tab. With Sonoma, Apple has introduced something called Click Wallpaper to Reveal Desktop, which is tightly integrated with the new desktop overhaul with all the widgets and stuff. What's interesting with this feature is that it's enabled by default and every time you tap on the wallpaper while working on something else, all the windows just go away to reveal the desktop. Going back by tapping again loses the focus of the app you are working on. The problem is that I sometimes tap on the desktop to reveal the Finder app since the desktop, you know, is part of Finder. Essentially activating you know, Finder where I can simply hit Command N to open a new window. Other times I click on the desktop to deselect the current active window and with this feature on I always end up <laughs> swooshing away you know, everything. <laughs> so that goes from always to only when using Stage Manager, which I don't use on the Mac. In settings under desktop and dock, you now have the option to hide everything that is on the desktop. It's a simple tap to turn on and off. Previously, this had to be done with a separate app, but now it is built in and part of Mac OS Sonoma. Keep in mind that if you hide everything on the desktop, you no longer can right click which is good to know but other than that this is very handy and i wish there is a quick access toggle for this maybe there is let me know in the comments below now let's talk about some really useful stuff by the way if you end up enjoying this video subscribe because why not let's talk how you can turn any website into a web app you might not know this but you're probably using a web app as a native app in one way or another. Typefully, for example, which is an X posting scheduling app, is a web app similar to what I'd use if I pull the software through the browser. But instead I have an app icon which I can open without having to go through Safari. The benefit of a web app is having quick access to a website, for example, in the dock in a much cleaner environment. I've set up a web app for my network storage solution, for example, as well as a color grading course I'm currently going through, all of which I can see in the dock and in the app drawer. To create your simple web app, just go to the desired URL and click on the share button. Then select add to dock and next time you open the app, you'll notice how quick it is and how clean everything looks. By the way, if you're wondering if your Mac is compatible with Mac OS Sonoma, Apple has put together a simple list on their website, which you can check at any time. I'll put a link in the description. A lot of things have changed if you right click on the desktop right now. At the very bottom, there is a new option called import from iPhone and my favorite scan documents option is right there. So if I tap that and I pull the iPhone, you can see it's ready to scan documents and I can just select an invoice, for example, just click save. And just like that, it is ready to be sent over to accounting. The new stickers are now available in Messages and they look pretty much the same as they look on iOS 17. I'm talking about the ability to peel off the subject of a photo to create your own sticker. If you want to get some ideas on how you can create your own fun stickers, which you can send around as reactions to your friends, feel free to check out my day in the life video with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and iOS 17, which I'll link at the end of this one. In that same messages menu, you'll find message effects and memes, which is not as important to be honest, but it's, you know, it's a necessary fun. Let's talk about something productive and time-saving. If you have a PDF form you need to fill out in preview, previously, you'd have to insert your own text fields, which you'd have to resize and make look decent before filling the first one, only to then copy and paste that same field everywhere the PDF has a blank space to fill out. Now there's something called form filler toolbar, and it's awesome. Once you press it and give it a second to render the document, Preview will populate the empty fields automatically and provide ready to fill out boxes, which you can just fill out using tab, you know, moving through them in a fraction of the time. As far as I know, an autofill feature might come out later this year, which would be fantastic. Next up is Siri. To be honest, I haven't been much of a Siri user on the Mac, but now that Siri performs as good as it does on the iPhone, 
I am interested to utilize it on the Mac as well. If you go to Siri and Spotlight in settings, there is now an option to tell the Mac to listen for the Hey Siri command or just Siri. Initial impressions is that it works crazy fast. One interesting thing that impressed me was something I observed while training the voice. Since I was asked to read, you know, the generic commands like play music while training it and all, my home pods and the iPhone remained inactive. Now, upgrading to the latest macOS Sonoma will take a toll on your storage, but there's a way you can take that storage back, and that is with my go-to utility tool, Clean My Mac X. It's a macOS cleaner, a performance monitor, a malware remover, and more. And by the way, it's macOS Sonoma ready. There are three features that I use most often with Clean My Mac X. The easiest and most used one is called Smart Scan, where by pressing a single button, it examines the system and eliminates gigabytes of junk, like incomplete downloads, login language files, and cache that is no longer needed. The second most used one is SpaceLens, which gives me a glimpse of what files are taking up most of my disk space in the easiest to understand way possible. Last but not least, the uninstaller helps me get rid of apps the right way without leaving a trace of leftover files. Clean My Mac X does much more like proactively finding and removing threads and quitting hung apps to ensure I'm always working at top speed. So if you want to keep your Mac running like it did on day one, click on the first link in the description and try Clean My Mac X with a 7-day free trial and 20% off with my special link. Moving on to the improved meeting settings in Sonoma called Presenter Overlay. While on a FaceTime call or a Zoom meeting, you now have the option to float over your shared screen and look like a pro, where people on the other side might not be able to see how messy the room behind you is. In order to see that option, all you have to do is share your screen and then head over to the little camera icon in the menu bar to turn on presenter overlay. What I was most interested in was if it would work if you're using the iPhone as a camera and if it does, would it look amazing given the LiDAR sensor on the back of the iPhone? So right now I'm on a FaceTime call using the iPhone 15 Pro video coming very soon by the way, so stay tuned. And I'm using the uh, continuity camera op uh, setting where I'm interested to see what it looks like once it's tied in with FaceTime. But first, let's launch presenter mode and see how everything looks from that perspective. So, let me share my screen. And I'll choose first to share this window. By the way, there's an option to share the entire screen or just a specific window. So, let me just share the Files app. And just like that, the party on the other side should just see my Finders app. Let me just switch to the first option, which is the small presenter overlay, which showcases me in a little window, sort of like what I do in my videos, where I have a bluish background behind me, and I sort of can just jump out of the frame if I want to. And I can, of course, move this around, and it's very responsive, and it looks great. Now, I can't change the blue background behind me, but at least nobody's seeing all the mess. If there's any mess, you know, let's say you're having a meeting from your bedroom or something. So, let's switch to large, which is where the actual window is right there behind me. And it looks fantastic. Now, I have the option to move this left or right, like this. And if I have like a chart here, let's say I'm showing my quarterly earnings and my earnings report. It's going to be awesome because I can just do this and just showcase how many millions of do dollars I have made the company right now. But anyways, this new feature is great and the quality on the iPhone 15 camera in combination with the laptop is amazing. Unfortunately, the LiDAR sensor on the iPhone as a webcam does nothing and cutting the subject from the background still looks clunky. But the quality, especially on the iPhone 15s, is Mm, super. Okay, so let's talk about something that will excite a lot of enthusiasts out there. Drum roll, mouse acceleration and the ability to turn that off in settings. No more terminal commands to type. Okay, so many people might not be aware that this even exists, but it's been on the Mac for ages. If you're not sure what it is, think of it this way. The distance your cursor covers on the screen is the distance of your mouse movement. But after a certain speed, for example, a fast swipe, mouse acceleration kicks in and your cursor gets further faster. People who draw in game would prefer to have this option turned off, so now it can be done. Finally, as an iCloud aficionado and someone who's done more than one iCloud video guide, 
I cannot not talk about the newly introduced iCloud Plus plans. This, of course, works not only on Sonoma, but it's something that came alongside it. Previously, the largest plan for iCloud was 2 terabytes, which if you run out of, you could support with an additional Apple One plan with another 2 terabytes for a total of 4. Now there are 2 terabytes, 6 terabytes, and even 12 terabytes available, which is awesome. If you are dialing an Android device, but you're using a Mac as your main laptop, there's a feature that you might want to dig in at some point. It is under settings, accessibility, and it's called personal voice. Once you set up your personal voice, you can use Apple's built-in live speech tool to generate text-to-speech using AI based on your voice. We've seen that feature before showcased on topics of, you know, iPhone videos, but it is part of Sonoma now, so it's worth exploring. Be sure to be in a quiet place with low reverb and at least, you know, 15 minutes of your time to read 150 phrases before your voice is generated, but at the end, it should sound something like this. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a thumbnail, I can tell you I don't have time, but what I do have are other, very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. One thing I want to try is re-record the phrases using my professional mic to see if the end result will sound better in terms of, you know, sound quality. Using widgets on the desktop of the Mac is a great new addition. Despite having the ability to use widgets directly from the iPhone, I find this feature a bit confusing at times since there's no clear way to distinguish which is an iPhone widget and which is Mac. If it's an iPhone widget, there's not much you can do with it for now and you're prompted to open the app on the iPhone. By the way, a quick tip that you might not know about is pressing Command plus Q or your Command tabbing to quickly quit apps on the fly. This is one of the tips I talk about in my second installment of my Mac tutorial for beginners guide, which you can check out right here. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.